Hi folks, Kenny the Vaping Heed back again. How you're all doing? So glad you could join us. Um, today we're doing the tutorial on the wick build build wick building wick of the Fatality M25 RTA by QP Design, and we have it on the Aegis Legend. All filled and wicked, and also I am vaping my favorite cherry cake Dodgers as always. So, have a quick toot. So, before we get down to the dirty, remember, remember, remember to just hit that like, share, especially the subscribe button. Much appreciated, and um, keeps us doing what I'm doing. So, without further ado, we'll go down onto the table and we'll get this tutorial underway. Yeah? See you down there. Cheers. <coughs> right, folks, here we are down at the table um, with the Fatality M25 RTA. Ready to put a build on this deck. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at this deck. It is absolutely magnificent. It's lovely, lovely, lovely really simple and very easy to build by the looks of it because like I say it's a poster's design so your, your coils are just going to drop straight on the top of there so without further ado I've got some coils already pre-cut and these are the coils we're going to be putting in folks these are N80 3mm um, 0.17 ohms by with tofu 26 times 3 core wrapped in 38 um, so these guys are pretty good so I've already pre-cut them to 4 mil I don't know if you can actually see these very well but they're quite nice looking coils so we'll go ahead and get them dropped in I think um, I'll just try and zoom in a bit here if you can just bear with us I don't know if that'll help you a bit there we go. We'll see there now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I might be spinning it around a bit, people, because obviously I've got to, to try and see the screws because I'm blinders a bat and a flathead. So we'll swing it around this way. I'll drop the first one in like so. All you do is just hold it down with your finger. Get your screwdriver. If I can see the bloody thing. And there you go. You just start nipping it up. And this side here, just nip it up. I'm just nipping them. I'm not tie tighten them right in yet. So I'm just going to put them in like so. And then we'll let, uh, if you bear with us, I'll turn it around again so I can see this side. So I'm going to blend in my old age. I need some new glasses. I can't, honestly, my eyes, I can't see a bloody thing here. Again, you're just dropping it right in. Um... Like I said, I've cut these at about 4 mil, and they seem to be pretty good. Can I just spin this round so I can get the screw? Because I cannot say jack shit, basically. Plus the shadow I'm catching isn't bloody help. Cast catching. Casting isn't bloody help neither. So that's that ending. That's that ending. So yeah, that's them in position. So now we'll just give them a a nip just to make sure they're nice and firm I just just cannot see these things at all I'll spin that round I'll do the other side just make sure they're nice and snug as they say you know oh, no shorts and everything oh come on where are you I can see you but I can there you go all right that's it just them's nipped up basically what you do now is you're just giving them a bit of a straighten and just pull them over in the middle a bit get them you know all where you want them kind of thing just pull push and twist and all that kind of stuff when that doesn't look too bad where he is you know you want them you know a little bit over, a little bit over the side airflow here and then obviously over the bottom airflow but we'll get you know we'll sort that out and we'll do the final position get that you know you just pull them over the middle a bit 
Oops, sorry, I'm off camera there. Jesus, I'm terrible with these off camera things. I'll just get them over the middle a bit, get them reasonably straightened up. I'd say you're not far off what you're looking for there. Um, probably straighten them up just a touch more, just to get them a little bit straighter. That's nice there. That, that's probably, roughly, what you're looking for, people. Just over the middle. We'll make sure they're not touching. You know. That's the kind of stuff you're looking for. I'll uh, I'll meter them in, and they're coming out there point oh eight, which is about right. Oh, you know. um, by the time you pulse them in, that might come up a bit. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the mod. I'll zoom it back out if I can. Hang on, because I think point oh eight. I don't think this thing will fire. Uh, Nah, this this does not fire because it's too low. So what we'll do, we'll pull that off. I'll turn this off, save me battery type of thing. We'll pull that off. I have got a mod handy. I've got the Aegis Legend. We'll whack that on here. I don't know if I can catch the threads, so you can. Put them on there. As you can see, sitting there nicely. We'll just check the number 41. Now the thing to watch for when you fire this in is I'll just zoom in again yeah Ultim this airflow is made out of Ultim I've seen horror stories where if you fire you know if you burn them too hot you, you can melt that so just low just get them glowing and then that's all you need so well, I'll leave the camera there so I'm just going to start pulsing them now This is a bit of smoke coming off them there now, just nice. I'm only pulsing them 40 watts, I'm letting the heat do the work. Just gently does it. Don't go mad, like I see, you've got to be careful with that ultimate on the bottom. There's a bit of a hot spot there, we'll get rid of that. Just give them a stroke and a strum. And let's get them pulsed in again. You know, I just want to, to glow. And I would say that's probably all you need. Don't go over mad. Don't sit there and blast them out. Just want to get the glow in so all your hot spots is gone. Like so. And that, my friends, is job done. So, I'll zoom back out. Would you bear with us? And let these fellas cool down a bit. And I have already prepared some wicks. I am going to put some Muji in. I've cut a couple of strips. So you see, while they're cooling down, I can just be peeling these off just nicely. There's one peeled. You know, peel it off, like you see, just roll it into a tube, like so, and then you know, pinch and twist when we come to do it. Um, again, just peel the outer edge off. I mean, you guys have used Muji and other score with this stuff. It's it's very easy. And roll it up again. So we'll put our waste out the way. These cool down a bit. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. When you pulse them at a lower power as well, that you know they cool down much quicker. So what we aim to do here is your cotton has got to drop into here. Right, and you just want it to see there, you just want to cover in that. Basically, you just want to drop it into the base there. Don't stuff it, just drop it in gently, right? So, right, folks, sorry about that little jump cut there. Uh, my battery went dead. <laughs> so, here we are, we're back to the wicking. Um, hang on a minute. Cause a bit uh, doofy dangly. There we go. Right, sorry, I just uh, knocked a coil there. Right, so, like I said, back to the wicking on this thing. I've got a couple of Muji strips prepared. So it's just a case of pinching and twisting and whacking them through, so to speak. Oh, God, it always happen when I'm on camera. I've wicked it, like, hundreds of times, near no problem, because I'm on camera, it decides to be a bit of an awkward git. 
there you go you just put your wicks through as usual not too tight just back and forth run them back and forth get them embedded in again just pinch and twist this fella gun again yep there you go just uh, I'm gonna make this pull that through pull them back pull them back pull them back there you go I've been cutting them roughly the edge of the maybe get you to the edge of the deck um roughly about there if you bear with us because these scissors are now blunt as anything let's see roughly the edge of the deck with that one roughly the edge of the deck with that one get rid of them you know just give them the floof and all that stuff as you do now all i do i just start pushing them in from the back into this juice well down here as you can see start tucking it in don't cram it in just let it fall in itself just tuck it down just gently like so so you're filling up this this juice well sorry if i'm drifting a bit i'm pretty hopeless with this camera there you go just fill that up not you know don't bang it in you just still want it reasonably loose so it's got room to expand same with this side just start tucking it in from the bottom there then down to the bottom of there it'll just start to fall in on this one i'm getting a bit cockeyed with these tweezers at the minute like sorry about that there we're going there we're going then i've got the pointy bit just you know tuck it in don't force it just gently in there As you can see, just give it plenty of room. Still see, I can still get them tweezers nicely filling in there. And there's your, there's your cotton there, just nicely twiddling about in there. And that, my friends, is basically what you're looking at. So what I'll do now is I'll juice them up. Oh yes, I've got my usual favourite here, guys. My cherry coke dodgers love this stuff like you see just start dabbing your wick on like so just give it a little pulse soak your wicks a bit as well as you go on looks wonderful that doesn't it I tend to just dab a little bit in there as well, just get that soaked. Get your juices all, your wicks all soaked up nicely. Sorry, your juices, pretty wicks, man, you dick. Get a little bit in there. And basically, folks, we're ready to go. So, with that being said, I'll get this cap back on. We'll fill her, back, fill her up and then... Um, like I say, we'll, you see there's your, your wig in there. We'll uh, nip up top and we'll have a vape on it. And I'll show you how it all pans out. Yeah, see you in a bit. Cheers. Right, folks, here we are back up top after that build. Um, I hope it was easy for you to follow. It's, um, this is the first tutorial I've done regarding the builds, um, Duke Me New Format, etc. on my reviews. So these videos will be kind of linked together when you when you look at one or the other. So please check them both out. So here we are, we've got this QP Fatality Oh god, I can't even get M25 RTA. I couldn't get covered there, it cricked me back. Um it's wicked coiled it's coming out on this at 0.08 which is a little low i was hoping it would like burn out at about 0.1 ish but um i've got it sitting at 90 watts um, i don't know if you can see that it's at 90 watts so only one thing left to do oh yeah wow that's a little bit cool for me what i might do is whack it up to 
100 watts. Ooh, that's better. It's point weight, do no bother. That's better. As you may have noticed, I like a slightly warm vape. But yeah, that's that's basically it, people. Just a simple tutorial showing you how to the build on these uh, various devices I get my hands on. So that was the Vitality M25, M25, yeah, M25, like the bloody motorway in it. M25, wick coil and vape like a trooper. So again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you very soon the next one. So in the meantime, stay safe, vape safe. And I'll see you all very soon. Cheers now. Bye.